What do you think this is? One stormy night in Alberta, Ontario, a couple filmed a glowing blue sphere drifting for nearly 23 seconds before vanishing. Now, this phenomena is very rare and has only been captured on camera a couple of times. It's called ball lightning, and reports of these glowing orbs go back centuries. In fact, the earliest English records come from 1195, where a medieval monk described it as a marvellous sight near London. He went on to describe it as a dense cloud that emitted a white substance that grew into a sphere from which a fiery globe fell over the Thames, moving, spinning, unmistakably like a ball. And then much later, in 1638, there was the great thunderstorms of Whittacombe. Here, worshippers witnessed an eight-foot fireball smashing through a church, killing four and injuring dozens. It also left behind a sulfurous-smelling smoke, as well as scorch marks. Now, for years, experts have dismissed ball lightning, calling it hallucinations or some sort of interference with the electromagnetics with our brain. But hallucinations don't leave scorch marks, and hallucinations don't kill four people in a church, let alone the thousands of witness reports that have basically describe the same thing with that sulfurous smell. But what gives these sightings some more merit or confidence was in 2012, researchers on the Tibetan Plateau, so that's where the Himalayas are, captured a glowing ball that lasted for 1.5 seconds. Now they didn't capture it in 4K, but they did have the equipment to do spectrographic analysis, basically trying to figure out what this ball was made of. And what they found was it was made from the same stuff that soil is made of, silicon, iron, and calcium, except in this case, heated by lightning. Now, there aren't really many leading explanations because it's just not been researched enough, but some of them include vaporized silica soils that are essentially oxidizing and releasing a glow. Another is trapped microwave particles in plasma bubbles, basically acting and resonating like a vessel, or charged nanoparticles releasing energy like micro batteries. I know they all seem very far fetched, but not as far fetched as those that think it might be dark matter related. But hey, I am no physicist, I don't know. I'm just here to give you a really cool story about ball lightning. So the question is, does ball lightning exist? Have you ever seen ball lightning? I've never seen ball lightning, but thousands of people have with countless witness testimony going back centuries. So there must be something to it. If I learn more, find out more, I'll be sure to share. If you know something, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.